gingerbread making time. So I bought two. I bought this one and then I bought mini ones. I decided to use the mini ones for my family to make and I'm just going to make this one and record pieces of making it. A little stand, the gingerbread pieces, the icing, little tools, and the candy. So before we get started, I wanted to thank Mary and Tony over at the Siskateers for inviting me to participate in this gingerbread collaboration. So be sure to go down to the description and check out all the channels participating. What I did was put a little icing into what I'm calling the moat area. And by the way, a piece of my gingerbread is broken, so that kind of stinks. I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, I'll probably just icing it on. <laughs> I guess I can't glue it if the kids want to eat it. What I did was icing all the sides and that's where I fixed the broken piece and just kind of put it together. Kind of messy because I'm not perfect at this, not good at this at all. The thing I did was dollops of icing, hoping that it would make it look like snow. Um, <laughs> it's all running down, looking kind of weird. So maybe not so much snow. I did was put on some dollops of um, icing there and added the little treat and a little gingerbread man. So the next thing I did was put some little, uh, I don't know what those are called, sprees or something along the sides. And I put a peppermint right there and then in the back. And I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to use those little round things. <laughs> and my tower um, little house is leaning falling apart but that is it that is the gingerbread house let me know what you guys think I think it doesn't look great but I've never been good at making gingerbread houses and the kids can eat this later a piece of icing just fell yeah that's it thanks so much for watching go check out the other videos bye now